What do you get when you make humans the focus of a Japanese kaiju movie and allow the monster to be a part of the narrative and not the main focus? You get Godzilla Minus One, arguably not only the greatest Godzilla movie ever made, but maybe the best kaiju-themed movie ever. What if any other kaiju film has moved you emotionally as this? Let us know in the comments and we'll add it to our list. This is Some Guy along with my co-host, Pookie Angel, for another Flicks in a Minute episode. This time around, we're looking at director Takashi Yamazaki's highly lauded Godzilla Minus One, a film that, quite frankly, neither one of us was expecting. I must agree with some guy here. While he loves Godzilla movies, I can take them or leave them. I do get a kick out of teasing my co-host on his love of man in a monster suit movies, but I never thought I would cry watching one of these films. At the heart of the movie is a story about the resolve of the human spirit to overcome the greatest obstacles. Equally important are the underlying themes of living with guilt, finding family during the unlikeliest circumstances, and coming to peace with the past. Yeah, at the end of Godzilla Minus One, I was literally in shock and in tears. Okay, how about we let some guy continue with the review? Why thank you, Pookie. Okay, to set the stage, Godzilla Minus One is set in post-war Japan, where the country is struggling to rebuild after the devastation of World War II. The film follows Koichi Shikishima, a former kamikaze pilot haunted by survivor's guilt as he returns to a ravaged Tokyo. Koichi's journey to redemption intertwines with the emergence of Godzilla, a creature that symbolizes both destruction and rebirth. Director Yamazaki brings a unique vision to this installment of the Godzilla franchise. His approach combines meticulous attention to historical detail with a deep understanding of human emotion, allowing the film to resonate on multiple levels. Yamazaki's direction ensures that the narrative is grounded in real human experiences, making the appearance of Godzilla feel both inevitable and impactful. His ability to balance the fantastical elements of the kaiju genre with the stark realities of post-war Japan sets Godzilla minus one apart from previous entries. The film's strength lies in its ability to balance human drama with kaiju action. Yamazaki masterfully weaves a narrative that allows the audience to connect deeply with the characters. Koichi's emotional arc is compelling, and his interactions with other survivors add layers of depth to the story. The film doesn't shy away from portraying the harsh realities of post-war trauma, making the moments of hope and resilience all the more powerful. Visually, Godzilla Minus One is a triumph. The special effects are top-notch, with Godzilla rendered in a way that feels both terrifying and majestic. The action sequences are intense, but they never overshadow the human elements. Instead, they complement the story, emphasizing the themes of survival and recovery. The performances are another highlight. Ryunosuke Kamiki, who plays Koichi, delivers a nuanced portrayal of a man grappling with his past. His performance is both subtle and powerful, making his character's journey deeply moving. The supporting cast, including Minami Hamabe and Hidetaka Yoshioka, also provide strong performances that enhance the film's emotional impact. One aspect that stands out is the film's score. Composed by Naoki Sato, the music underscores the emotional beats of the story, enhancing the tension and the moments of catharsis. The score is both epic and intimate, perfectly matching the tone of the film. Overall, Godzilla Minus One is a remarkable achievement, earning a solid 4.5 out of 5 stars. It successfully reinvents the Godzilla mythos while staying true to its roots. The film is a poignant exploration of loss, guilt, and redemption, set against the backdrop of a nation rebuilding itself. It's a must-watch for both fans of the franchise and newcomers alike. Yamazaki's film not only adds depth to the Godzilla series, but also reinvigorates the kaiju genre, proving that monster movies can be both thrilling and profoundly moving. For more reviews and cinematic insights, be sure to follow us here at Flix in a Minute and check out some of our other reviews at the end of this video. That's all for now, movie fans. Until next time.